Good morning. We'll try this again. Maybe I can say it right this time. I don't know. It's one of those things where I second guess myself after I record the video. Anyway, Sunday, March 27th, 2022. Coming at you from Second Winter in Northeast Pennsylvania. And if you're from Pennsylvania, you'll know what Second Winter is. I'm going to shut the light off. So time is not on our side. We got two revelations from the occupant of the Oval Office this week. One was that he discussed food shortage with somebody and that it's real. Now, he said we discussed it, it's real, and it's going to affect us. Now, you can take the we to be, um, the American government, or you can take the we to be the NATO powers. I suspect it was NATO, since that's where he was, and that's who he was talking to all week. Pardon, I almost, uh, I almost got a squirrel. Luckily, he and I both had good reflexes. And he lives to fight another day. Anyway. That revelation was made on national television by national news media in an interview that uh, the thief in chief did. And if the zombies weren't aware of it, up until now, they certainly are at this point, or they will be when they see that interview. Because some of them, if it's not on mainstream media, it doesn't matter what's right in front of their face. The other startling, <laughs> startling in air quotes, not so startling, if you've been paying attention, revelation that was made is that there will be NATO troops in Ukraine. I believe it was the 82nd Airborne that he was talking to. And he said, when you get there, meaning Ukraine, you're going to see people standing in front of tanks, people blocking the roads. Now they backpedaled that real quick. Raggedy Ann backpedaled that real quick. But why would you say that if you didn't mean it? Right? NATO's been itching to get into this one since day one. And if you're one of those YouTubers sitting in your basement beating your meat to the idea of World War III. Well, you might just get your wish. Too bad it's going to be on the backs of some brave men and women that have no business being involved in that fight. Unlike the U.S., who telegraphs every move long before they make it. If the Russians do strike us, it'll most likely be preemptive and most likely to be without warning. content creator that gets out here and says the same thing as I'm telling you day in and day out. Because 
time is not on our side. This one's coming and it's coming quick. And while you may be expecting it, you probably won't be expecting it at the same time. Because it'll be like that. One minute I'm driving home from work recording a video. The next. So if you don't have a plan, I suggest you make one. If you haven't been preparing yourself for a situation like this, I don't know what you've been paying attention to for the last two years, but me telling you. At this point, is it going to do you any good? And maybe it will, I don't know. Regardless, I think time is short. When the music stops, you got what you got, and you are where you are. And that's that. Anyway, be safe. Watch your six. Out for now.